Today we're gonna to take a look at one of my all-time favorite cameras, and it's the one camera that is in my bag and that I shoot with every day. The camera I'm talking about is the Mamiya 6. Now time for some epic B-roll featuring my son, Noah, carrying my favorite camera. Okay, okay, okay. One of my favorite things about the Mamiya 6 is the size of the camera. Not only is the camera incredibly small for a medium format interchangeable lens camera, but it also has a trick up its sleeve that makes it even smaller. Whoop. Let me show you that again. Whoop. Mind blown. Let's talk a little bit about the specs. This camera is actually pretty darn difficult to find in separate pieces. The Mamiya 6 only has three lenses in the ecosystem, a 50mm, a 75mm, and a 150mm. One of the reasons why the body is so small is because the camera itself does not have a mirror box. Every one of the lenses has an electronic leaf shutter that makes hardly any noise at all. Nine times out of ten, you will find it sold as a kit with a lens or two lenses, typically the 75 millimeter and the 150 millimeter. The internal light meter is an averaging light meter, which means the camera reads all the light that comes through the lens. The internal meter inside the Mamiya 6 is actually pretty darn accurate. But despite having a great internal meter, I still prefer to use a handheld meter to ensure accurate exposure. The rangefinder patch in the viewfinder is clear and pretty incredible. It's bright and makes finding focus incredibly easy. On the left hand side of the viewfinder, you can see the shutter speed and with a simple controls, it makes it pretty easy to read and adjust your exposure. Another trick the Mamiya 6 has up its sleeve is a built in dark slide. The film plane inside the camera is not protected. So if you wanna change lenses, then you can easily do so by turning the switch on the bottom of the camera to reveal the dark slide. So you aren't wasting film trying to change to a different lens. The images from this camera are really sharp. I'm not one who's super crazy or pixel people about sharp, pixel peeper about sharp images, but I know some of you out there are, and there's nothing but Gen C sharpness with this camera. Because there isn't a built-in mirror box in the camera, which means the lens is actually close to the focal plane than most other medium format camera bodies. The downside of having an electronic shutter driven by a battery is that if you ever are out and about and your battery dies, then the camera becomes a pretty expensive piece of jewelry around your neck. About a year ago, I began looking for a smaller medium format camera and I was looking heavily at the Mamiya 7, which shoots in the 6x7 format, but it also costs around $2,500. I ended up with the Mamiya 6, well, because it was half the price, but in fact what I thought was settling actually turned out to be an incredible blessing. After shooting two rolls through this thing, I absolutely fell in love with it. It has become my daily shooter because it is so much fun to shoot and because it is a challenge for me to see the world differently. You see, the Mamiya 6 shoots in a square format, which makes it the perfect camera to challenge your perspective. I personally feel anytime something can challenge you how you see the world, then it is a tool worth exploring more. I've currently put through around 90 rolls through this camera, and I plan to run through at least another thousand. Now who am I if I don't share some photos taken with this beast of a camera? A lot of the photos are of my kids and of uh, some street photography that I shot while in New York. Hope you enjoy them. Take care.